Welcome back, my name is Therese and I'm very much alive. Or am I? I think I feel things. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. Did you hear that snap? I'm getting old. If you're not into bone snapping or weird stuff in general, then this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Today's video is in special collaboration with the wonderful, the beautiful Yadira, also known as Yadi Beauty on YouTube. Yadi started YouTube this year and her channel focuses on makeup and skincare reviews as well as unboxing. She loves the finer things in life. I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. <laughs> but she does a lot of luxury makeup reviews. I love her videos because I find her reviews to be very thorough and insightful. Also, she's adorable. I mean, she's cute as a button. There's no denying that. Definitely go check out her channel. Yadi asked me to collab with her on her version of Vlogmas called 12 Days of Collabs. Our collaboration is about brands that we discovered this year. This has been a very weird year. And one of my favorite pastimes was stress buying because I didn't think I was going to see tomorrow. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So here are some of the brands I discovered this year. Profusion Cosmetics for $5. I don't understand how or why Profusion eyeshadows are that fucking good. It's a crime that so many brands charge so much money for such shitty fucking makeup. And oftentimes a lot of eyeshadows from higher end companies suck ass. So I don't know what magic they're doing, but they need to keep doing it. I have seen this brand around for a while now, and to be completely honest, I never purchased anything because when I saw the low price point, I was like, there's no way that's going to be good. So moral of the story is never judge a book by its cover. It started with the Emeralds palette, which is this palette right here. <sighs> Hands down, that's probably the best green palette you will ever have in your life. And the most affordable, well, mm, technically e.l.f. has a $3 one, but whatever, fuck e.l.f. Profusion. <laughs> that Emeralds palette is oh, so amazing. Once I purchased that palette, I blacked out. Next thing I know, I own like 15 of their palettes. I don't know how it happened. But the quality is so good. It's so stupid good, it makes no sense. They're pigmented, they're so easy to use, they're so easy to blend, and above all, they are so affordable. So fucking, like I cannot stress enough, and this is coming from me, someone who's been so damn bougie lately. This is amazing. Like $5 palettes, like sign me the fuck up, please, yes. This will not break the bank. Do yourself a favor. Go check this brand out. You will not regret it. And your wallet will thank you for it. Proper beauty. These lipsticks, they do not fuck around. Before picking them up, I would see countless videos from some of my colleagues here on YouTube singing the product's praises. As someone who has notoriously dry lips, I'm always looking for something that's hydrating, long lasting, comfortable to wear, and doesn't bleed out into the outer corners and get that weird kind of like gummy shit on the edges of your lips. These lipsticks, they're so fucking good. I'm happy that I took the plunge and purchased a couple of their colors. And I'm anxiously awaiting for them to put out more stuff. I cannot stress enough how dry my lips are and how comfortable these lipsticks are to wear. Hands down, probably one of my favorite lip products that I have found this year. And the fact that it doesn't bleed into the outer corners, sign me the fuck up. Like I'm in love. They're just so creamy. They have such great staying power. It's fucking amazing. I would go as far as to say that these rival the Gucci lipsticks that I have in my collection. Yes, the old marble candle flame. I will be that bold to say that I fucking can compare both of them and they are both fantastic, except, you know, one is so much fucking cheaper. <laughs> So do not sleep on this brand. Definitely go check them out. They are fucking fantastic. Terra Moon's Cosmetics. I have been stalking their Instagram for a while now because they have these beautiful chameleon shadows that are just so fucking alien-esque. It's a slutty celestial dream. I pulled the trigger and I could not be happier. The brand was so kind enough to actually send me the El Barrio palette. And while I haven't created a video on it just yet because you know, life sucks. <laughs> I would have to say it's probably one of my favorite palettes that I played with this year. It's phenomenal. The shadows are so beautifully pigmented, so easy to use, easy to blend, has great longevity, but I believe that their chameleon shades are the true standout. 
However, I do have one of their highlighters. Holy shit. That has to be one of the more blinding highlighters I have in my collection. It's shit your pants good. Yes, you'll shit your pants and no, you will not mind. I'm happy to say that during Black Friday, I was able to purchase a shitload of other things that I cannot wait to have in my possession. So if you have been interested in wanting to check out this brand, please go and do so. They are fabulous. I cannot stress it enough. They are truly a hidden gem. Tower 28. I kept hearing so many people talk about this brand and I really needed to see what the hype was about. But this brand is fabulous. Not only is it reasonably priced, but their products are so fucking comfortable to wear. The glosses in particular are fucking amazing because one, they're not sticky. Two, they're comfortable. Three, they are actually quite long lasting. And four, they don't have that weird matrix mouth thing that sometimes glosses have where you're talking and the next thing you know, it's just strings. That's never happened to you before, bullshit. Happens to all of us, okay? You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's so gross. <laughs> I can't. The other product that I have in my collection from them are their blushes. And I think, dare I say, they might be some of my favorite cream blushes of all time. They're just fun to play with. You ever like have those makeup products that you're just like, this is just fucking fun. That's what this brand is. They're just fun. And I've been eyeing the bronzer, so I need to pick that up next. But above all, what I love about this brand is that all their products are made with those who have sensitive skin in mind. So that warms my black little hard. Sonia G. I have been eyeing these brushes for a long time now. And when the pandemic started, I figured, fuck it. I need to see what the hype is about before I'm about to game over during this apocalypse. I first purchased a couple of the Worker Pro brushes and they were fantastic. But to me, the true standout is the sky set. If you have hooded eyes like me, bitch, like you need to fucking get these brushes. They are so fucking amazing. They really are. They're so well crafted. They pick up the product so beautifully. They blend so effortlessly. And if you have hooded eyes, it's a fucking must have. These are worth the steep price tag of $160. And I'm glad that I was able to pull this trigger during this very weird fucking time. And I regret nothing. I'm actually currently saving up to get the face set because bitch, I need to fucking have it. Burberry. I blame Lacey for this one. This bitch legit texted me one day and was like, Hey, have you ever tried their highlighter? And I was like, no. She then called me a fart face. So like, I mean, I had to buy it, right? She called me a fucking fart face. That may or may not be true. <laughs> I'll let you decide. Any hoosies, I bought a highlighter for $68. Who am I? I don't know. Just a bitch that's like, I'm Scrooge McDuck. I, I swear, I swear, the pandemic changed me. <laughs> it really has. I'm not guaranteed it tomorrow, bitch. I can't bury that money with me in the casket, okay? <sighs> Hilarious. <laughs> anyway, this highlighter is so fucking good. It's so stupid good. I think it's probably the best luxury highlighter I will ever use in my life. Yeah, I said it. Yep, mm-hmm. Even for products I haven't tried. Fuck it, Burberry's king. It's smooth, it's creamy. It glides perfectly on the skin to give you this like fucking unreal glow. I have since purchased one of their blushes and the formula is amazing as well. And I went back to get two other highlighters because how could I not? I'm glad I got bullied into buying something from this brand. They're expensive, but worth every fucking penny. La Mer. Okay. Okay. I have been eyeing this brand for a very long time. Then I got drunk and I purchased their moisturizer and a foundation during a sale. And I regret absolutely nothing, bitch nothing. The moisturizer is dumb good. It makes me mad how expensive it is. It was luxurious and fabulous and made me a better person. And it transported me to this fantasy realm where my kids were off to boarding school and I was having an affair with the pool boy. Okay, like it fucking, it did something for me. <laughs> Realize how gross that sounded, whatever. The foundation, no words, it's fucking great. It's so good. I think two brands actually know how to make a foundation truly skin-like. It's this brand and the brand I'm about to talk about next. It's so wonderful. It's absolutely weightless. It's long lasting. It doesn't settle into your fine lines. And I wanna try more products from this brand and I hope to do so next year. Sicily, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I have only technically tried two of their products. And the one that I really am like, fuck yes, is their foundation. 
So one day, Netta Porta, I can't help it but not to say it like that. I think it's like Netta Porte or the Queen's trash in me. Just wanna be like, Netta Porte. Like that's all I wanna do. Anyway, Netta Porte had a great sale one day. And this foundation, which is normally $170, I got it for a steal at 110, I believe. That's a savings. This is like the fucking Cadillac of foundations or insert like really high-end car. I don't know shit about cars. Insert high-end car here. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> this product was so amazing that I actually went back and I purchased another one. And that was only after at least two uses. Like that's how much I fell in love with this product. And much like the La Mer foundation, this one is also weightless. It doesn't settle into your fine lines. It's very long lasting. And it was so comfortable that I actually almost went to bed with it on. It's what your skin should look like, okay? Instead of like the sadness that it always looks like. This product does wonders to your base. I plan on getting blackout drunk when I wanna buy more stuff from this brand because I also tried their primer. I believe it was $192. It's good, it's good. I have a little sample of it and I baby that shit, but it's so good. I hate how much I like it. Oh, but I love it. <laughs> Shantikai, what can I say? Shantikai is life. And this is the brand that will forever influence me to walk around in a caftan screaming at my living lover that I only drink the freshest of waters and eat the freshest of paleo string cheeses. Shantikai makes me a better person or monster, you decide. From their makeup to their skincare, I have not found a product I didn't like. I like their products because not only are they beautifully made, but they work very, very well on my skin. The blur powder for the past year has catfished me to the gods. The blushes bring a beautiful wash of color to my cheeks. The CBD cream soothes my eczema hands and their mascara has been strengthening my lashes. Their products are slowly turning this garbage fire into a tasteful heap of carpet samples left outside of Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm growing up. And with that said, those are some of the brands I found this year. Let me know down below what brands you have found this year during this very, very weird year that we're living in. And also definitely check out Yachty Beauty. Everything will be listed in the description box below. And uh, tell her I said, hey girl, hey. Am I a singer? Holy shit. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, lovely patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this disgusting, filthy, disgusting and filthy, filthy and disgusting garbage boat afloat. Couldn't do it without you. And um, I owe you everything. I love you dearly. If you wanna know what is currently on my face, along with where to get my merch, which I do have some holiday merch, <sighs> get yours before it's too late. And if you wanna know where you can find my podcast, everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.